What's good, good people? I'm Justin Miller, owner of Legends of Athletics, and here we are with the Speed Training Series, or Speed Series Part 3. So I have nine years of sports performance training under my belt. I've been in the sports performance industry for the last nine years. I have my bachelor's degree in kinesiology, graduating from Mississippi State University. So I know a little bit, just a little bit about what I'm talking about when it comes to athletic training and training athletes. So I hope you enjoy this series. I hope it's, uh, it helps you be a better athlete. And until next time, be legendary. We're going to start with plyometrics. This video, we're going to discuss three plyometric drills that you can do to make you a better overall athlete. I tell you guys this all the time. Sports is not played in one plane of motion, so we must be able to move in each plane of motion with strength, mobility, and safely as possible, but also be explosive as an athlete. One of the first drills you can do as an athlete to make you better overall moving laterally are called skaters. So I hope I stay within frame, but I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to do as best I can. Before I get into it, anything that you do unilaterally, you have to take into account uh, many factors. So you have to take into take into account your body weight, your strength level, and your experience level. We're gonna try. I'm gonna try to give you guys uh, a beginner, a intermediate, and an advanced level of each one of these uh, exercises that I'm t uh, telling you about. And so add these as you see fit, as you get better at them, and then just go up and up and up. And then, you know, I'll tell you what to place them within your speed training program. So this first exercise is called, they're called skaters. So what we're going to do is we're going to go side to side. It's almost like that lateral uh, lunge I was telling y'all or showed y'all in our in previous video that we were doing for our warm up. So with skaters, you're going to go side to side. You can use cones if you want to as a landmark, if you have those at your disposal, or you can just use, mentally take a, take a picture or a mental picture of where you land and try to land in that same spot or greater spot. So a beginner, uh, a beginner level of this this exercise, we're gonna just stay in a small box. So we're gonna go here, and then here. As you see, I'm kicking my leg back, but I'm also balancing whenever I land, and I got my knee bent so that that so that that landing is a soft landing, along with my hip being bent. If I land straight and go here, I don't have any balance. I'm I'm unstable, and I'm also putting a lot of pressure on my hip and my knees. These are like our brakes and our shock absorbers for our body. So. You want to be here. We want to start in an athletic position. And like I said, if you're a beginner, like this track width, this is good enough. You don't have to do anything beyond that. So here, 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 here. And we are landing and we're holding that position. And so with holding that position, we're training our bodies to be stable. We're training ourselves to be athletic. And we are producing more power because that is a unilateral movement. So we're, we're addressing each side individually to see where we are. So if we do this movement, again, I'm gonna show you from a frontal angle. So if we do this movement and we're here, or if we do the skaters and we kind of go and we tip over it, like that video that I have on my shorts from yesterday, if we do that, then that's gonna, that's cueing us that either we have uh, instable mobility in one of our joints, we may have some weakness, there may be an injury that we need to address, or we probably just need to strengthen that overall plane. So if it's in our knee, we need to strengthen our quads. If it's in our hip, we need to strengthen our glutes, our core, and our lower back. If it's in our ankles, then we need to strengthen our calf muscle, and we also need to strengthen our feet, and we also need to strengthen our shin. So we got three things to address. So where you fall in this is where you need to address. So if I'm collapsing a lot, right, and I'm doing a lot of talking, so this is going to be a long video. So if I collapse in this, and let's say I go there and I get up, or... I go here and my knee kind of caves in, then it's telling me that my VMO, this little teardrop looking muscle on our quad is weak. So I need to strengthen that. And we will have videos that have exercise to address that. Again, this is one of those exercises or those movements or mo modalities that puts us in a position to see where we are as an athlete. And so I don't want to speed through this like our shorts. We kind of just give you the, the workouts or give you the exercises, but we don't really explain them. So I want you to know why you're doing it, the why, how, and the execution of it. This next one, this is going to be more of a intermediate to advanced level. So where we were just going side to side in our in the beginner level of this exercise, so we were just going here and here, we weren't collecting air, as I say, picking up air. With our intermediate and our advanced level to this same skater, ex same skater exercise, man, I'm in Mississippi, I just got hit by a net. But anyway, so the same, the same, um, skater exercise, we want to try to pick up some air this time. So we really want to press through our legs and collect and, and build some power.
to propel ourselves side to side. That's going to put more on us having to be stable, more on our stabilizer muscles, those little small muscles that we see that you really can't address when you're doing big compound movements all the time. So here, so we're going to start on one leg. So instead of having two legs and we kind of rocking and get some momentum to go here and here, we're going to start on one, no momentum, and then we're just going to go into it. So here, there, 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 there. And you see how I'm, I'm unstable. So that's the intermediate version. Now, real quickly, because I'm not even there yet, but I'm going to show y'all. The advanced version of this, we're going to land on our toe. No excuses. I'm going to give it to you. So when we go to the advanced level, instead of landing there and th on our whole foot, we're going to land athletically. So we're going to land on a ball of our foot. That makes this more advanced because it's harder to do. Most people are going to tip over. So here, there, Woo. there, 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 and there. So as you can see, we're landing every time on a ball of that foot. I'm not holding it long because I, my ankles just can't take it. But I'm not holding it long because my ankles... My ankle is a little weaker, but that's the advanced level of this exercise. So that's the skaters on to the next. This next exercise, this is something, this is a staple of my training. I like to do it from beginning really to end. So we're gonna do basic standing long jumps. You have a beginner level to this, have an intermediate level to this, and we have an advanced level to this. So with the long jump, what I see a lot of athletes do is they go here, I say, all right, jump. And it's either your chest is too far over or they don't know how to load. So they don't know how to throw their arms back. So it's here, boom, there. That's not a, that's not a good standing long jump. So we want to go here. We want to be athletic. We want to be athletic, but we also want to be relaxed. So we want to go here. We want to throw the arms back. This is loading. If we're not here, we're not loaded. This is not loaded. This is not loaded. This is not loaded. We want to be here. We want to have our chest up. We want to have a good line from our nipple to our hip. So that's all in line. So we're going here. Again, we're athletic. My shoulder, I mean, my, my feet are about shoulder width. So my feet are right under my shoulders. I have wider shoulders. So this, can, this is going to change for every athlete. But my feet are right under my shoulders because that's where I'm comfortable. So we're going to go here. Here. And then jump. There. Now, when we land, now, when we land, I probably got out of the frame, but when we land, we want to land. This is not like a competitive um, track meet style standing long jump. So we're not landing so far to where we're falling on our heels and we're, we're landing on our butt. We're going to land on our toes. So we're going to go here again. Set. Go there. Land and then throw the arms up. We're throwing the arms and the hips at the same time. So arms and hips, that's going to propel us more horizontally to collect more ground. We're not really going vertical. We're not trying to get a lot of air. We're trying to go horizontal, and we're trying to eat up as much ground as we, as we can. Beginners, we will do what we call five hops. So we'll go here. Sit. Go. Boom. And we'll land, absorb the contact, then come back up. That's another thing. I'm glad that I said that to myself out loud. So when we're absorbing, when we are, when we are absorbing, we don't want to be here. This is called torn ACL, blown knees. That's too much pressure going down. Our ground force is just like um, if you learn in physics, right? When I land like that, I'm pushing this way. And I'm, I'm put, my feet are pushing this way, and I'm pushing my body back this way. So that's giving me opposing forces. So we're going here. This, if I had my, my thumbs, that's what you're creating. So you aren't, that's not a safe space to be when landing. When we land, we want to land what I call soft. So listen to my feet if you can hear them. So this is a hard land. And this is a soft land. Even if you got to do that extra hop, you want to land softer because it's going to preserve your body as an athlete. So this is 
the intermediate level. So intermediate and advanced are the same thing. So we're going to do it and we're going to be repetitive in it, right? So I'm, I'm going to take a step back. I'm going to give you all two simultaneously. So we go here, set, set. So when I say set or when you hear set in your head, you load up, load up, weight on the toes, weight on the toes, not, not here, not over-exaggerated, but rock a little forward. So we're going to push the weight. We're going to shift that weight a little bit forward, just like a car. You can't move if you plant it and you can't move st stably. I think I just made that up <laughs> if you got too much weight forward. So here, set, boom, set, arms back. We load it, we load it, and we're ready to go. Chest is up, not chest down. So we got to see where we're going. So set, then go. <laughs> Twice in a row. And you see that that, I, I, you see that, that landing is soft. Do not land hard. Over time, you will thank me later because you have your knees preserved. You have your hips preserved. You have your lower back preserved. I am uh, 33. I've been doing this for a while. I have not had any major injuries from high school to now. I've never blown my knock on wood. I've never blown my ACL, never ruptured my Achilles. I've never hurt my hips. I'm older, <laughs> so... Of course, I have little minor soft tissue damage stuff that comes up every now and then. But because I take time to figure out the pattern and do it correctly, I don't have a lot of those nagging injuries and I don't have a lot of modality issues. So that's the importance of why I always say, listen to what I'm telling you and do it in that, that way to try to be as correct as possible. So let's go on to the next. Here we okay. are with the last thing. So. We're going to do a, a standing vertical. So we don't have any markers that we're trying to hit. We're going to do a standing. We're going to do a tuck jump. So we're going to tuck our knees, hug them, and then come back down. This is going to help us with our power output. This is going to help us recruit more muscle fibers in order to help us have a higher vertical. People with higher verticals are more, it's more known that people with higher verticals are able to run faster. So with this, we're going to go, and y'all, if, if, if I show y'all my stomach, like I told y'all in the last video, I'm sparing you. So. Rated G, hopefully YouTube don't demonetize because my stomach came out. But anyway, so we're going straight up. We're hugging the knees, then we're coming straight back down, right? So you can do these as sets of five. Same thing with the standard long jumps. You can do three sets of five. Same thing with this. You can do three sets of five to start, and you can you can, you can tweak that as you, as you keep going along. And then with the skaters, you can do three sets of ten. I mean, three sets of five on each leg, so that would be three sets of ten overall. So... Here we are. We're going to do the same thing. So we're still loading, still loading, still sitting back in our hips. Still, we got still rocking our weight forward. So this is what I want to show y'all. Feet flat. I'm in athletic position, rocking the weight forward ever so slightly. This is too much. We're not Michael Jackson. So we're going to go here. We're going to rock. We're going to gently shift our weight. That's so key. Because even when you're playing sports, I see some linebackers and stuff. They be out there like this. You cannot move like that. You need to be here. So I can go either way. So if I need to go there, I can go there, I can pivot, I can do whatever I need to. Y'all still see that cat like quickness, man. Don't get it twisted. But anyway, so we're going straight up, straight to the sky. This is a straight, pure vert. So we go here, we're going to load up, boom, tuck, then come back down. Ever so slightly. So we're reaching up, and we got to do a, another arm action to get our arms around our knees. We are picking the knees up so that we can tuck into our body and then land softly. For three. So... That's all I got for y'all in this video. I hope y'all enjoyed it. So next time, make sure you're getting 1% better each and every day. Do the things the legends do and be legendary. What?